so hi guys welcome to my channel uh, the world's apart channel so uh, today I have a really uh, special topic to talk about we are going to talk about STCW basic safety training so um, I'm gonna be running you through what exactly is STCW and we are gonna be um, uh, telling you more about it as we proceed so a requirement for the STCW convention is for all seafarers to be provided with a basic training uh, including basic firefighting, elementary first aid, personal survival, personal safety and social responsibility, and proficiency in security awareness. The training is the training is uh, prepares seafarers to be aware of the hazards of working on board a cruise ship and can be appro uh, and appropriately in an emergency. So who needs uh, to do the course? So all crew working or wishing to work on vessels exceeding 50 gross tonnage 24 meters um, in length or carrying more than 12 passengers including commercial merchant vessels oil tankers and super yachts in addition all professional maritime certification must be uh, comp STC, stcw uh, basic training compliant so guys um today i specifically made this video to uh the guys especially in uh, uganda in tanzania in rwanda um in drc congo that uh, really have uh, a dif difficulties in you know uh getting uh, this kind of training so uh what i need to tell you guys is that we have uh uh several uh few of you guys who come to kenya to do this uh, stcw uh certification so um if you whatever if you're watching whatever you're watching this video from may it be in those countries that i just mentioned uganda tanzania uh rwanda burundi uh zimbabwe and you you would want to come to kenya to do this kind of training i would be leaving my contacts you can uh contact me uh even if you're in kenya also you need to know more about this uh sccw training so yeah you can contact me on uh my number i'm gonna leave it on my description box uh, uh once you uh you get you you get down to the description box you're gonna get it uh uh down below so um basically uh uh we are we are just uh, running through uh what is stcw and uh it's a basic safety training uh that uh, is offered to all seafarers so we are gonna uh, read some more and get to understand it so at the this is one of the institutions that offers uh, SCCW uh, certification. It's Indian Ocean Maritime Training Center. Uh, it's in Mombasa. So um, what you need to know that is uh, one of the um, uh, safety basic safety training is made up of five courses. So what are these five courses? You're going to be touching on them. You're going to be learning more about them. So one of them is fire prevention and firefighting. That is FPFF, STCW. So the aim of this course is to give seafarers the essential education and training in fire prevention and firefighting. During the course, the student will learn the risks, the risks of fire and its prevention, the use of firefighting equipment, responding to emergencies, and finally fighting and extinguishes, extinguishing fires. So the course includes extensive practical sessions at our on-site firefighting facility. So uh, that takes around uh, two and a half days. And so you're going to learn uh, the, 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 the guys who are training you are, uh, are going to train you for two and a half days. So the other, the other course that uh, 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 is attached to the STCW certification is personal survival techniques, that is PST. So what, what, does, it, what does it entail? So to give seafarers the essential education and training, in personal survival techniques to include the main types of maritime emergency the principles of survival how to abandon a ship how to survive in water and how to use survival crafts in a maritime emergency so this takes roughly one day so this is whereby you are taught about how to use a life raft how to um, uh, survive in water uh, the different techniques are supposed to use when you're in water to you know to so that you're able to uh, protect yourself from uh, uh, different uh, situations that may occur uh, so the other uh, uh, course that uh, 
is attached to uh, is, is, is attached to this certification is elementary first aid that is EFA so to give all persons intending to go to see the education and training in elementary first aid is first aid so that they understand what to do in case of an accident or medical emergency on board and uh, are able to uh, uh, apply elementary first aid techniques so this is whereby guys you just uh, taught about how to uh, go about an emergency especially if somebody has fainted uh, somebody has uh, you know somebody just uh, fell down uh, randomly and you need to know how to go around it and uh, you need to know how to uh, deal with such a situation uh, so that you can be able to save a life so the other kind of training that is there is personal safety and social responsibility that is PS PSSR so to give all persons intending to go to see the understanding and training and personal safety and social responsibility enabling them to understand how to comply with emergency procedures on board take precautions to prevent pollution of the marine environment follow safe working practices contribute towards effective communications on board ship contribute towards effective human relationships on board ship uh, uh, to understand the causes of fatigue and to know the necessary actions to control fatigue this uh, takes half a day in a classroom so uh, guys this is where you just taught about how to you know how to deal with uh, uh, different issues that uh, seafarers might be going through that it may it be uh, 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 fatigue ways you can be able to you know uh, go around uh, how to take care of your mental health take care of your body you know take precautions to prevent pollution in the marine environment follow safe working practices uh, contribute towards effective communications on board the ship so uh, guys that, that is what uh, involves of uh, PSSR so the uh, the other one is proficiency in security awareness so that is PSA so to give those on board ship who do not have a designated, a designated security duty the essential education and training to be aware of the importance of a ship security and the roles of those employed in its provision to be aware of the requirements and measures to maintain a ship and to be able to recognize and report a security risk so that takes uh, roughly about half a day that is uh, what entails of a uh, uh, PSA. So um, for this institution, they have uh, really mentioned uh, the entry requirements. So for the Bandari Maritime uh, uh, College, you just need to uh, show up. And then once you show up at the Bandari Maritime College, they're going to uh, register you. First of all, first and foremost, you're going to do a medical test uh, uh, at uh, Dr. Richard's uh, hospital hospital uh, then you're gonna be able to get in class and then you're gonna be registered in in class then you're gonna uh, do your training your uh, sccw training after the training you're gonna uh, be given a, a, a certificate of uh, or rather it's uh, like a, a certificate of completion eh? so once you get the certificate of completion from the office then uh, you can be able to uh, pay for your uh, uh, STCW uh, certifications and also pay for the CFRS book uh, that enables you to move around the sea. Uh, for the passport, you move around the air. For the for moving around the sea, you have to use the the the, the seaman's book. So, guys, uh, specifically this video uh, was really targeting guys who might be uh, not having a clue of how to go around. Uh, uh, this STCW, STCW uh, uh, training STCW stands for Standards of Training uh, Certification and Watchkeeping. So, um, guys who are outside of uh, 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 of Kenya and those who are in Kenya, and you might want to know more about STCW and what it entails, uh, you can reach out to me. I'm going to leave my number in the description box below. Uh, if you have any questions, if you need any assistance, I may be able to be of help unto you and I'll be able to actually uh, ensure that uh, you're able to do your certifications uh, well and in an institution that is trusted and uh, the process is going to be really easy and uh, seamless. You won't even believe it. So guys, um, so there are some, uh, uh, some important details that you should know that uh, uh, you can come on this, uh, you can hop on on this uh, Indian Ocean Maritime Center and be able to read for yourself. The contacts are right here. Uh, but uh, if you need to go to Bandari also, I have 
uh, contacts for Bandari. I can assist in uh, how you're gonna go around it. And uh, so, guys, I just wanted to go through uh, the courses that are involved in the SCCW certification. What you need to know, um, uh, what it entails. Uh, as you as we have seen, guys, it uh, entails a couple of uh, courses. There is firefighting and and fire prevention. There is personal survival techniques that is PST, there's elementary first aid, uh, there's personal safety and social responsibility that is PSSR, there's proficiency in security awareness that is PSA. So um, guys, you, when you once you're through with your certification, you're going to get, uh, you're going to receive two certifications that is for the 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 one is one is for the proficiency in security awareness and then the other one is a combination of personal safety and social responsibility elementary first aid personal survival techniques that is pst fire prevention and firefighting are uh, gonna be a combined uh, as a certificate and then the other one is gonna be a separate one and then you're gonna pay for your uh, Siemens book. So guys, that is a uh, really uh, great information that I wanted to share with you. I'll be uh, bringing on more content. Uh, if you like this kind of content, kindly guys, just um, uh, subscribe to my channel. That is the World's Apart channel. Share this content with your family and friends. And um, uh, yeah, guys, so see you next time and have a good time.